Hello, hello! My name is Callista, and welcome back to The Dark Side Detective, A Fumble in the Dark. In the last episode, we finished off Case 1, Missing Presumed Dark Side. Dooley has returned to us. He was waiting by the laundromat outside of McQueen's apartment in the dark side world, and that is... That is so sad and so beautiful, I just... I love Dooley so much, I really enjoyed Missing Presumed Dark Side. But now we have to move on to case two, Twilight Years. So my, my brain immediately jumps to Twilight, like the book. So I'm thinking potentially we're gonna be dealing with vampires here. I am, um, I'm not sure. Case summary, with Dooley back, we're off to visit his nanny over in Shifty Acres. Okay, so Twilight Years like old people. Aha, okay, okay. I do love the music in this game. I think the music is stunning. What a day. Yeah, whoever that welcome back party at the station was for must be gutted to have been pulled out of retirement. Dooley, that was a welcome back party for you. For me? Then why did we leave? You wanted to see your nan? Oh, I'm such a dork. Anyway, let's go see Nanny. Oh, they've, they've repaired the car. I'm sorry they didn't reinstate the division detective. Oh! The dark side, the, the dark side division got um, dissolved after Dooley left and they haven't reinstated it. Damn. It's okay. Solving normal crimes is important too. At least they paid to get the Popo Moto repaired. She's looking as good as ever. Better than ever. Like brand new. Newer even. I had to fight with the mechanics, but she's the best car on the force now. Uh. Don't you listen to him, Moto. You are looking sick. He'll come around. I love his relationship with the car. What did you bring her? A gift? Yeah, I see that, but what kind of gift? A uh, secret one? Uh, okay. Twin Lakes number seven retirement home. That, I, surely, surely Nanny Dooley deserves the best retirement home. I am, um, I don't know. Stay off the grass and other drugs too. Flippin' heck, is there, is there a lot of drug taking at this retirement home? This place is eerily quiet. Uh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Old people are for life, not just for Christmas. True. Why would I pay for a phone when there's already one right here? A stack of tabloids for keeping the residents up to speed on local happenings. Rolling bones for local pop culture deaths. Classic rocks for any budding geologists. And enemy for keeping track of your foes. Oh, they also have coupons for businesses in the area. One place is selling secondhand potatoes. Another is offering to wash all your books for half price. And a third touts hauntings. Three ghosts for the angst of one. I love this city. There's a lot of interesting coupons here. I should make a note to cut them out before I leave. Good to see health and safety standards are being met. Okay. I think she's the other way, Dooley. Oh, I always mix up my left and right. Okay. Okay, I was like, what's that noise? It's snoring, okay. None of those are her room, Detective. Okay. I'd love to visit an old castle like that someday. Me too. We should book a holiday. Are you not a little wary of holidays nowadays? What? Why would I be? Ha, ah, that's the spirit, buddy. He's forgotten. He's genuinely forgotten. Nice to see a little green around the place. Looks to be a supply closet. Not of interest to us. And there's the staff room. None of these are her room, Detective. Okay, okay. We're here! At Nanny's room, aye. Nana 
it's me, Patrick, and I have the det- a Francis with me. Sorry, boys, it's all a bit manic out there. I'm not opening the door until everyone calms down. Nanny Dooley, it's me, Francis. What do you mean that it's manic out here? Oh, all sorts. People swinging from the ceiling, large parties, carjackers, you name it, it's happening. It seems pretty calm to... Oh. Should we... Yeah, we probably should. Okay, Nanny, you leave it to us. We'll find and retire any retirees who are out of line. Dooley, we're not retiring anybody. Speak for yourself. Dooley's planning to kill old people. Shit. <laughs> what has the dark side done to our boy? But we will look around the place. Put out that chair. See what else is happening. Okay. Oh, okay, flipping out. There are too many rooms. There are too many rooms. Let's not disturb anyone we don't have to. Okay. There's... <laughs> There's an actual blockade. Hmm, somebody has built a wall and put a note on it which says, No boys allowed. That's you out, so. What, what about you, Dooley? <laughs> what about you, Dooley? Self-portrait of the artist, aged boat. <laughs> Beautiful. Why is there a demonic red light coming out from under this door? I don't, I don't like that. So, we're a few cases in. We're only one case in. Yeah. I just think it's time we talk about it. About your new cat. Oh, placeholder. Oh. Say it. Placeholder Dooley. Look, I'm used to thinking out loud, and normally you're there, even when you're not entirely paying attention. And you were missing. Thinking to myself was too slow and talking out loud to nobody felt... Well, I think people at work were thinking I was losing my mind. So I got a cat. And you named it after me? Her. I named her after you. Don't make a thing out of it. You missed me! You missed me! Dooley, I spent a year searching for you. Of course I missed you. It's not so much fun when you just outright admit it. <laughs> oh, bless. Looks like somebody mixed their whites and colours and it all came out dyed. You. you! This was the bear from Malice in Wonderland. It was in uh, the library with Devon. It, this bear has been everywhere. This guy again? Okay, I think it's time we brought you in for questioning. You got the bear. <laughs> These creepy little bears are pretty popular, huh? What do you mean? Well, we see them all over the city. Um, okay. What? Dooley, they're everywhere. I even found one in the vents at the mall last Christmas. Oh my god, we did. What were you doing in the vents in the mall? Dooley? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I've still never seen this bear before. Oh. You have. You have seen that bear before. An off-brand bulk by powder. Their slogan is, because it's not your clothes you're washing. Hmm. An old washing machine. An old washing machine, okay. It's locked from the inside. I can see the key in the keyhole. In the keyhole. How odd. Yeah, there's, a, there's a spooky looking gap. There's a gap at the bottom of the door. Maybe I can use this to get that key out. Okay, but there's... There's a spooky red light. There's a spooky red light. Is no one concerned about this? These little touches really make the place feel cosy. They must have a caretaker or such about the place. I can hear noises coming from inside. Hello? I'm not coming out. Oh, okay. Can I ask? What? Who's there? I'm detecting. I said I'm not coming out. Okay, but... I can't hear you. I'm giving up on this. Good. Wait, if you could... Can't hear, go away. Hmm. Okay. There's no sound from inside. Let's leave them be. Okay. And this is the... I'm, I'm inclined to explore inside first. Just see what we're working with. 
It's locked. There's a do not disturb sign and some snoring from inside. Let's check back later. Looks to be a supply closet, not of interest to us. Okay, hello. Some of these lines are red, others are not. Know the difference. Blood thinning bandages? Millie, okay. What kind of voice do I want to do for you, Millie? She she looks a bit like um Tina from Bob's Burgers. Can I can I do a Tina voice? Eh, uh, you got me. They're useless. This is a really bad Tina impression, but I don't care. They're useless. Worse than entirely counterproductive. But they were on offer, and I just can't pass on a good deal. Okay. Forget-me-nots and remember-me-nots. Pills to help you pee, to stop you from peeing, to get bowels working, not working, and retiring entirely. Placebos and, and an assortment of candy. That's just my wrapper cleanse, you know, to keep me regular. No thanks. Pain meds, the stuff here for decreasing pain, increasing pain, and making pain out of nothing. Those last ones are for anyone who crosses me. I... I've not seen one of these in a while. Actually, I couldn't ask you for a favor, could I? My batteries are running low, and the damn thing runs so slow it sounds haunted. Take it and get it charged, would you? Wait, which is it? Does it need batteries or charging? No idea. I always get one of the detectives who is investigating the place to fix it for me. Are there many other detectives around here? Oh, loads. Old people are shady. The older you get, the less life in prison puts you off. I mean, that is fair. That is fair. I've killed a person. I'm gonna spend me life in prison. I've only got a year left. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Damn. Okay, we got a dictaphone. Hair in a tub. Gross. What's even grosser is that you can, and I do, apply it anywhere. Oh. Okay, Mill Millie, you nasty. Uppers, downers, lefters, and righters. Do not fear the listening snake. Let it hear your innermost secrets. Stupid information campaign. I'm not letting a listening snake anywhere near me. Did you bring any spare pharmaceuticals from the precinct, officer? No, the evidence room door is still bust from last year, so nobody leaves anything good there anymore. Dooley! Dooley! Dooley, you can't go around giving out evidence to people! Waste not, want not, detective. No, you can't brush that off as a cheery do-gooder task. Don't blame me, I didn't break the lock, did I? That doesn't excuse- Who broke the lock, detective? That has nothing to do with you giving- Who broke it? I did, but only because you let the gremlins loose. Now you're changing the subject. I- You- Now I've forgotten what we were talking about. Oh dear, you better just try not to remember nurse's orders. Mm. Okay. Oh, you scared me. I thought you were a resident looking for, well, anything really. What's going on with the patients out there? I don't know. They seem on form today, though. I thought maybe they got the smell of blood. And by blood, I mean pharmaceuticals, but all my stock is accounted for. So, nursing, eh? All right. But you gotta follow your passion in life, and mine is spending coupons. Did you know you can skip TLU classes with enough coupons? I only had to turn up once with enough coupon booklets, and now I work here. That is highly concerning. That doesn't sound safe. Fully qualified. A lot of stuff you have lying around here. Not stuff. Bargains. I save this place literally dollars a year. A dollar saved is a dollar that must swear an oath to protect your life lest it bring shame on its family. What? 
Sorry, I've been watching a lot of Kurosawa lately. Point being, I can't resist a good deal, me. Okay. Oh, uh, bye. One thousand tiny towels. Perfect for sewing in a one normal size towel. And a fraction of the price. Or one thousand fractions of the price. A year's supply of microwavable hair clips. They were on sale. Buy one, get the rest for free because we ca I presume that's because we can't. Buy one, get the rest for free because we can't ship these things. An industrial vat of denture gum. Buying in bulk is how places like this stay open. Watch the pennies and all that. Watch the pennies? That's right. Watch them. See what they get up to when they think we're not around. Where do they go? Why are they always so dirty? Okay, this... I... Excited to see your nan? I sure am. She always fills my little belly hole with treats and she asked me to pick this gift up for me. Oh, what? Wait, what? And she asked me to pick this gift for me up. Oh, I thought you got that for her. My joy is the best gift she can receive. Get your grandmother a present. Get your grandmother a present, Dooley. God damn. Oh, well, the chair's out. Oh, somebody put the chair out already. Super. Okay, so maybe things aren't normal around here. Is it safe to come out yet? Sort of? Maybe? That's not very reassuring, you know. We're police. Is that more reassuring? Yes. Wait, are, are you real police or is that comedy division Patrick Dooley is in? We're a real department. Not according to him. Hey there, ask her about that burning wheelchair, eh? Ah. Uh, what's going on around here? The, the residents are full of energy today. It's, it's proving hard to track and calm them all down. Track them down? Yeah, they have free reign. This isn't a prison camp, Patrick. We don't have location monitors on the patients. Not anymore. Where did that burning wheelchair come from? I, I think some of the residents were trying to get some chairs up onto the roof. Maybe it's linked to that? Honestly, once things kicked off, I lay low here to... Oh, I lay down. I lay down here to wait for help. Or death, whichever comes first. Flippin' heck. Goodbye. If you need me, I'll be hiding down here. Okay. Okay. Oh, why is it so loud in here? <gasps> Pastor Farrelly! <laughs> oh, and he's got some sick beats too. Hell yeah. Bro, it is good. Yeah, I am reading that right. I'm sorry. Bro, it is good, isn't it? With every song, I amaze myself. I said loud, not good. You love this set? Me too, my man, me too. What? That's not what I said at all. You're right, it is Christian dance. You've got a good ear, much like my co-writer, God. I've heard of Christian rock, but not Christian dance. Well, they say God is a DJ after all. Hmm, you couldn't turn it down, could you? Of course I couldn't turn it down. DJing this sudden, unexpected party was too good an opportunity to play some tunes from my new album, Irreverent. <laughs> Flippin' heck. Fia. Oh my god, I... Yes. I don't care what music it is, I'm deaf! I just like the vibrations in my footsies! It keeps my insides loose, if you know what I mean. Oh, sadly, I do. My bowels! It keeps my bowels loose! Yeah, I, I figured that's what you meant. For doing poo! <laughs> Enough! Viha! I, I mean, good for you, you old raver, you. Good for you, but still. Why are these speakers so big? It seems like overkill for such a small room. Bro, don't be so ableist. Some of these people are hard of hearing. See, and she's swinging from the chandelier. I love it. 
I need another drink. My throat is going. I love this game, but doing all of these voices really strains my throat. Oh my god, I just read what she said. I always wanted to try swinging when my husband was alive. I don't. Do you mean this swinging or the other kind of swinging? All right, bro. Pasta, I haven't seen you since you flew off that tower. Bro, you would not believe. I forgot to install air brakes on my hang glider, so I flew way over my house. I ended up on the far coast. I figured it must have been the big G's will, so I decided to do some missionary work. Missionary work? Here in America? If it's what the Lord wanted, maybe. It was easy work, at least, and it paid for my bus hang glider ticket home. So praise the Lord. How did you end up at this retirement home? What do you mean? This is where the hang glider drop-off point is. I landed here, saw people were partying, and came in to throw my hands up in the air. Because up in the air is where Jesus lives. What's going on around here? Dude, bro, everyone here is off the hook, both in terms of their mannerisms and also in terms of them having no responsibilities. But they were all too old to know how to work the gramophone, so I offered to help. And hallelujah that I did, because I've never had an audience so happy with my Christian dance tracks. Will you turn off the music, please? Bruceph, look at how hard these people are dancing to my Christian tunes. I can't turn it off now. I couldn't leave unless it was an emergency. Everyone is acting oddly. There are fires all over the place. The residents are putting themselves in harm's way. Those are emergencies. Those are police emergencies. I mean a spiritual emergency, like a crisis of faith or procession. <sighs> okay, I'm sure we can sort out a crisis... Possession. It has to be that one. Dooley, we can literally phone in a crisis of faith. Fake possession. We can have him out of here in five minutes, tops. Fake possession. Think how much longer this will mean before you get to see your nan. Nana loves a fake possession. Oh. <sighs> Fine. Yay! Okay. Bro, talk soon, bro. Okay, so we're gonna fake possession. All right. The DJ desk is in the way. Can I get you to budge a little pasta? No can do, mi amigo. I am halfway through a set. I can't just pull out, not before finishing. <laughs> pasta, pasta. No, no, sir, no. You're a man of God. You're a man of God, sir. You can't, what? <laughs> This is the same as before. The disco lights, they seem screwed into place. You still have your super soaker with you? Brother Brusif, after what I saw last year, I don't travel without it. Would you have a part with it? And be left alone with all these nearly dead people? What would I do if they all, uh, what's a bodacious way to put it? Converted to the Church of Zed and turned into mush heads, bro. No, I'd only ever part with my god cannon if I had a suitably divine replacement. Okay. Okay, so we need to fake a possession. We need to get him a replacement to get his super soaker. I. Right. I think this window is broken. It's clearly nighttime outside. Sad daisies are my favorite kind of flower. Recreation and dining, two of my favorite things. Intruders! Bugger that for a game of darts. I'm not letting them stop our fun. Agreed. Okay. Today's menu just reads anarchy. And I'm having seconds. At least they had the sense to move this away before they started their water fight. Not so! I was skateboarding on it earlier and it crashed over there! Ha <laughs> ha! Uh... What's going on here? A water fight, obviously! Are you safe up there? The slippery chair and my vertigo say no, but my heart says why not? Okay. Right, it's time to disarm you two. 
new way! Get him! Oh, fine, I'll leave them. Good, I'm going nowhere until I'm dripping wet! Dear God! Uh, wait, why? We've got a pastor who can't pull out until he's finished, and an old woman who wants to be dripping wet. I, I, what is this? The ceiling fan spinning away in its natural habitat. The ceiling. Okay. Put down that balloon. Make me copper. Don't make me come back there and disarm you. Detective, even I know we can't go around tearing off people's arms. You wanted to kill people before. Dooley. What if I... Okay. Okay. To the kitchens. I just... What, what is happening here? What is happening? Why are they all saying lewd things? These things call more harmless insects than harmful ones. They're banned from all Blood Wolf campsites. Hmm. Also, we can't afford them. Oh. Mulch. Just add liquid. Doesn't even need to be water. Ugh. A distraction jar. If somebody is interfering in the kitchen, ask them to open this. Does not open. Guaranteed. The first one is prunes, while the second one is prune juice. Mama always said don't go running with scissors. It's just as well that we don't have move animations then. Okay, we got some scissors. Lovely. We can't take the knives. An assortment of kitchenware. Kitchenware? Like stuff you wear in the kitchen? No, Dooley, this stuff isn't even the right shape for wearing. So why is it called kitchenware then? I'm not the bad guy here, detective. We've got some pots and pans, lovely. It has a timed lock on it. No fair. Older people, and also me, need the freedom to eat whenever we want. Aw oh, man, just our luck to arrive after the cook has clocked off for the night. There's three by three potatoes, two by two carrots, and four by four turnips. Seems this press is full of squared root vegetables. <laughs> they use stainless steel dishes in here? We use those at camp too, mostly because they survive food fights, but also mostly because Emily can't burn them. I love you, Emily. I love you, you little pyro pyromaniac. Oh. I want Emily to be in this so much. An industrial strength blender. There's nothing this can't turn into soup. I don't understand. Everything here is so clean. Where's the layer of cigarette ash? I feel like Agnes really needs to be let go, or at least be sent on a course or something. It's just the plumbing for the sink. Detective, don't stare at it like that. It's full of weird kitchen gadgets, from egg confusers to onion interrogators. It's a series of dust-gathering specialist cookers. This place is so much better kitted out than the Blood Wolf HQ. I can't wait until the new- I'm so- I'm so sorry, I don't know what it is, but my brain is like, we can't read today. Today we cannot do the reading. This place is so much better kitted out than Blood Wolf HQ. I can't wait until the kids retire and we can turn this into the new base. Oh. Do Dooley, when when the kids retire, you'll be really old. I will, will you still be alive? I Oh, Dooley bless him. I like tractors, but like this fan, I've gone off them recently. It's a reminder to buy milk, garlic, and more garlic. It's empty. I guess the janitor has done their cleaning run for the night. Hmm, all the bins are locked. That's to stop Nanny Dooley from dumpster diving. She has a real nose for a find. Damn. Nanny Dooley, what are you... Just sniffing around the bins, I... I need to find a key to check these. Okay. Some medical stickers. Must be getting binned as they expire today. Okay. Locked. Seems to be random trash from the home. It's locked. Okay. And yeah, what's up here? Oh, bloody hell. Watch out! You're in the way! What the? Your way? What's going on up here? 
We're jousting. Is that not clear? You should maybe get your eyes checked. Hey, that's glossiest. What are you gonna do about it, nerd? I'm going to smash you with this broom. That's what. Bring it on. Hold up. But why are you jousting on the roof of all places? Because he's a bounder. No way. You're the baddie bad boots here. Oh dear, this has gotten very out of hand. Okay. Well, I'm just about out of time for this episode. In the next one, why are there old people jousting on the roof? Hopefully we'll find out. But until then, please remember to like if you enjoyed, leave a comment below, and if you wanted to subscribe, it would be very much appreciated. I've been Callista. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next episode.